Hey guys, Fizz here, and you know, uh, today 343 announced that Halo 5 would not feature a map voting or veto system, and everyone's up in arms because it's always the cool thing to hate on 343 and any decisions they make, and so everyone's pretty, everybody's pretty upset, but I'm going to give you guys my opinion on this news. I think this is actually kind of a neat change. Um, a lot of people are going to say, well, why are they taking out our ability to vote or to veto a map? And I'll, I'll just give you guys, you know, a basic sum up of my experiences playing on a lot of the older Halo games. And you get the games that have the, the veto system, like Halo 3. Now, um, what would happen with, with Halo 3 wasn't as bad as, as Reach or 4. So I think that if they were going to do anything, they probably should have kept the veto system in there. But in Halo 3, you know, you'd get to, a map would come up in, in a selection when you're trying to play game mode. And then you would have to vote on it, and if it got a certain amount of of votes for no, then it would skip the map. Um, so th this wasn't so bad. It was a pretty neat system. And then in Reach, they changed it to a map voting system. So there would be three options or two options. I forget how many it was in Reach, but there would be a certain number of options, and the players in the lobby would vote on which option they liked best. And then whichever one won would, uh, you know, that's the one you would play on. And so what happened is you'd play on the same like three or four most popular maps over and over and over again. Same in Halo 4, and then it happens in, in Master Chief Collection as well, is that they got the voting system, so you vote on the map and the game that you want to play, and you kind of just, you know, play the same things over and over again, and it frustrates a lot of people. So I think that what they're trying to do is, you know, let everybody experience all of the, all of the maps and the stuff in that game mode, instead of just having players, you know, vote for the ones that they think is is the best all the time and only playing like a selection of three maps they're they're probably taking a lot of pride in these maps that they've made for everybody and they want everybody to experience them also don't forget a veto system is something that can easily be patched in if you know if we really need it while i don't see this as a much of a you know terrible thing as other people are saying it is um it's not it's it's an easy fix like it's something that can be very easily patched in and while I, I do I do think there should be a veto system, I don't think there should be a voting system, but a veto system would be nice. So if anything, if they're going to do another change or you know go back on a decision, they they all I would want them to do is put a veto system in there. I think that uh, having a voting system in Halo 5 is is not the way to go. We've seen it work and we've seen it, you know, we've seen it work in games like Halo 3, and we've seen it not work in Reach and 4. So that's just my opinion. I, I mean, people are getting crazy, like, acting like this is the end of the world. Acting like because there's no veto system, you know, the game's going to be trash and we shouldn't buy it because of this one thing. Not to mention, you know, all the other good things this game's doing. But, you know, this one thing is, is, is make or break for these people. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Anyways, that's just my opinion on this. I think that uh, a veto system would be nice, but I'm glad that there is no voting system. And, you know, I'm... I'm gonna put my faith in 343 because I know this is a very unpopular opinion, but I actually enjoyed a lot of Halo 4, hated the loadouts, but that was that was pretty much it. I thought the campaign was excellent, and you know, multiplayer could be fun at times. I'm playing uh, Fiesta right here in Master Chief Collection, and Fiesta is pretty great, but I know this isn't like a, you know, exclusive to Halo 4 mode, but it's still pretty fun. Uh, anyways, that's all for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay classy, guys.